Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. We're coming at you with 2019 Bowman's Best Baseball 8-Box. Pick your team number 12 on this abbreviated New Year's Eve broadcast. We went on a little bit early. We'll be leaving a little early. Be safe, everyone, on New Year's Eve. Big thanks to all these folks for getting into it. John with Last Bot Mojo Marlins. And there's everybody else. Remember, there was a little mix-up with that team random, so Brian, you're... You're in that one from that team random from the 28th. All right, here's the fresh case right here. Posters for the shop. There will be a silver pack promo if you come visit us in Hermosa Beach. 14th and Pier, where Pier, PCH, and 14th meet in Hermosa Beach, California. All right, so there are two, four, six, eight boxes right there. Four autos a box. Good luck, everyone. Two autos, a mini box. This is pretty good stuff. 32 autographs for the entire break. The checklist is a little small, so we're bound to see some repeats. So be prepared for that. But that also gives you a lot more parallel opportunities too, which I like. Good luck, boys and girls. Jerseys have, are sold out, says John. Nice. So we'll add that to the schedule. You see some gold in there? Could be. We'll find out. All right, so there's the schedule in the chat right now. Right now we're doing Bowman's Best Baseball Picker Team 12, then a couple personal boxes for John E., and then Leaf Autograph Jerseys. That draft break, if we want that to happen tonight, that pretty much has to fill by the end of that Leaf Autograph Jersey break. If it doesn't fill by the end of that Leaf Jersey break or by 2.50-ish Pacific time, either one, then uh, we'll have to push it till Thursday. And if we fill that Bowman draft right there, that will be the last break of the night. That should bring us to around 4.30 LA time. And then off to off to uh, New Year's Eve festivities. Pete Alonzo and Dean Kramer on the back. On-card auto for the Orioles. Jesse Rager with the O's. Tatis Jr. rookie. We got Will Smith rookie to 250. Bo Bichette die cut. We'll have all those sleeved and top loaded before they go out, of course. And a surprise redemption. Got snuck up on me. Hunter Bishop. And that is for the Giants. That'll be for Lawrence. Keston Hira. 
And for now, too. If I'm not mistaken, we've been shipping everything in these, so. I know it says veteran commons don't ship, or maybe veteran commons still don't ship, but. Know, we'll see. TJ Sikama for Robert Myhill, Yankees. Hunter Bishop, or Hunter Bishop, Hunter Green, die cut for the Reds. Different prospect. And behind Acuna Jr. is Diego Cartaya. There you go. Nice. Dodgers. John Sadara is another one of their catching prospects. So they have Will Smith. They got Kiebert Ruiz. And then in some of the, I think he's still in like single A or something like that. But there's Diego Cartaya as well, who they also really like. So they got some catching depth there. There's a die cut. And Casey Myers at the back. All right. Uh, yes, the, your personal will rip today, Joe. We'll get that squeezed in. And we'll go through orders after this break just to make sure that uh, – just to make sure we're, we're, on, we're on schedule here. All right, box two. Good luck. Jonathan Kent, you got that impeccable Debo Samuel redemption that I pulled you. Nice. Ten, two out of ten. Nice low number. Helmet piece with, with a logo and patch with the Ur from 49ers. Nice. Congrats, man. On card auto, too. Yeah, Debo's been, I mean, listen, that might be a good time to have Debo Samuel. What if he just goes off in the playoffs? That would be good for your Debo value right there. Got him just in time. All right, here we go. Next one. We got Rylan Bannon. Another Oriole for Jesse. Vlad Guerrero, Joey Bard. Let's see that Nick Senzel as well. And we've got Daniel Espino. Nice Daniel Espino for the Red Legs. That'll go to, I'm sorry, the uh, Indians. That'll go to Jimmy Black and the tribe. I just saw I just saw a C and I was like, since here it. John Oakray, Johnny O, what's going on? Happy New Year to you too. Just okay. <laughs> 2019, not the best as far as breaks are concerned. We'll turn it around in 2020. We'll hit the we'll, we'll hit the reset button in 2020. Thanks. That drops on Friday. Both uh, contenders football and basketball drops on Friday. Woo! Nice Adley Rushman going to Jesse and the Orioles. There it is. There you go. Nice autograph there. Hunter Green die cut. Jonathan India die cut. Just making up names for anybody now. And we got Matt Walner for the Twins. That goes to Tyler Stumpf. Some color here, too. 34 out of 150. Ooh, and some red. 3 out of 10, Glaber Day. Glaber Torres for Robert and the Yankees. Future Foundations, Eloharius Montero, die cut, Cardinals.
There's the AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Why isn't Liberty Mutual sponsoring the Liberty Bowl? Is that too on the nose? Navy's ranked 23rd? I didn't realize that. He had a good year. They're leading Kansas State 10-7. All right, next box. Good luck. Another four autos to go. Good luck. There's Casey Mize, Austin Riley, and Genesis Cabrera. Nice. For the Cardinals, that's going to go to Josh Melton. Wander Franco die cut. Got a nice atomic refractor, Carter Keyboom. Die cut. And we got Michael Toglia. Michael Toglia for the Rockies. Tyler Stump for the Rocks. Keston Hira. DJ LeMayhew. Did DJ LeMayhew end up winning the batting title? AL batting title? Death Rage. Rock Death Rage, my favorite metal band. That goes to DMAC and the Tigers. Another die cut right here, Future Foundations. Jordan Adams. Sorry, Brett Beatty, Be over here. And Vlad Guerrero Jr. Behind him is the one per case franchise favorites autograph, Travis Swaggerty. 17 out of 250. That's swag, though. That'll be for Ryan Bartow. Nice. I think a corner infield prospect. No, outfield prospect right here. For the Pirates. Nice. Pete Alonzo, purple to 250. Tatis Jr., die cut. Nice. Here's your NL Rookie of the Year. What do we feel about Pete Alonzo? Can he do it again? Is he a flash in the pan, or is he here to stay? Anthony Bonilla says he's awesome. Sean Corbett says polar bears never going extinct. All right. Touch nerve. I think he'll be fine, yeah. And it'll be good for the hobby, that's for sure. Fifty-three home runs. I just looked up his stats. Two sixty, fifty-three home runs, one hundred and twenty RBIs, one hundred and eighty-three strikeouts. But I feel, I guess, I guess everyone strikes out a lot these days, right? Thirty doubles. It's pretty good. I mean, I, I want to say, I, I got to look up some splits here, but I want to say that he was pretty consistently good all season long. 
right? Was there was there ever like a, a, a slumpy kind of month? No, there wasn't. Nine home runs in April and March, 10 in May, nine in June, six in July, eight in August, and then another 11 home runs in September, October. So average went up and down a little bit, but but he's got a, a bad month, bounced back. Would all, he would always bounce back, right? He hit 292 in April and March, but then hit 232 in May, but then bounced back with a 307 June, and then 177 July. That was his weakest month, I think. But then he bounced back with 283 and eight home runs in August, down to 245 in September, October, but he hit 11 home runs. So even when pitchers attempted to adjust to him, he was still hitting. There's Alec Manoa for the Blue Jays. Goes to Brett Myers. Speaking of the Blue Jays, yeah, Hyunjin Ryu for my Dodgers went to the Blue Jays. Anthony's asking, what's my rotation looking like without without Rue? I don't know what that rotation is looking like. There's Ryland Bannon. I think the Dodgers have some pretty good depth, so I think they'll be okay. There's Ryan O'Hearn. There's that goal, 24 out of 50. That goes to Kansas City. That'll be for Chris Randone, picked up the Royals. Yeah, Dodgers have probably Walker Bueller at the one spot. Kershaw, Kenta Maeda. They'll probably bring up Julio Urias into the rotation. 68 out of 99, Joey Bart. They'll probably have Dustin May kind of in the back end of that rotation as well. Nice Joey Bart. And we got Riley Green. Nice Riley Green for the Tigers. That's for Darren McKenzie. There you go. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, Kenta Ma are you thinking of Kenta Maeda, Anthony? He was in the bullpen for just for the playoffs, but in the regular season, he's usually in the rotation. I think Dodgers could stand to. Uh, there's JJ Bladé. 18 out of 50 for the Marlins. That's a good one. There's Alec Baum. I think Dodgers could stand to add maybe a middle of the rotation kind of guy. There's Eloy Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez and Blaze Alexander for Brian. Nice Blaze. 89 out of 99. Got that in the team, Brandon Brian. There you go. Nice diamond back there. I, w I would love to sign Bartolo Colon as a fifth starter. I would love that. All right. Halfway through the break, four boxes to go. Oh, Julio Urias, yeah, he should he should now be stretched out and and comfortably in the rotation from here on out. He's still pretty young, so they've been bringing him along very slowly. I think whatever trade rumors there have been with uh, Francisco Lindor anyway, it seemed like the Dodgers wanted the speculation, the rumor mill seems to suggest that they want Clevenger thrown in there as well. So it would be cool to, cool to kind of add a Mike Clevenger if guys get moved for, for Francisco Lindor. There's been some speculation that the Dodgers, who may have been sort of connected with, with uh, sort of connected with Mookie Betts as well, they've they've said maybe David Price gets thrown into that deal. So I don't know. Dodgers should do something. I think they've they've got a pretty good team as is, but my, my argument has been, you know, they could they could freshen up the squad a little bit, kind of mix things up. So I'm sure they're going to do something in the trade market. That's what it seems like. Trey Bush, Happy New Year to you too. Thank you.
Oh, uh, Julio Urias isn't as young as you thought he was? Yeah, I mean, I think he, like, a, a, effectively a year, year and a half was kind of kind of messed up due to, like, a shoulder or elbow injury that he had to get taken care of. So they've been bringing him along slowly after that. Yusai Kikuchi, 22 out of 25. Rookie auto for the M's. That goes to Tyler Stumpf. Yeah, the Dodgers are very much like the Bills of baseball at the moment. I'd like to not be there. Or the Braves. Remember the Braves in the in the uh, mid '90s? They won. They won divisions left and right. I think they only knocked out one World Series victory. There is Justice Sheffield. And his brother Jordan is in the Dodgers organization. Tyler with the M's. Jimmy Connell, he was called up. Yeah, he was. I think they signed him at like 16 or 17. I think that was the same trip where they found Yasiel Puig. Oh, there he is right here. And they signed him at 16 or 17. And they kind of worked him slowly up the ranks. Then he, his progress a little delayed by injuries, but, but his stuff is there. Still there after the, after the elbow issue. There's Wander Franco, 16 out of 50. And there's Quinn Priester. Pittsburgh Pirates. That goes to Ryan Bartow. Yeah, is there a punch card for that, Sean? If I punch card like 15 NL West divisions, and I'll, we'll, we can redeem that for a World Series. Out of 150, Chris Bryant. Is he getting moved? A lot, a lot of rumors swirling around. Maybe, maybe Chris Bryant is going to be traded. Like the Cubs are just going to blow it up, start over. There's Alec Baum, nice corner infielder for the Phillies. Ten out of one fifty should be a big name for the Phillies in a year or two. Brian with the Phils. All right, next box. Oh, Jimmy says he keeps drafting Urias in a keeper league, hoping he'll break. And this is this year's the year. I think they were always going to be cautious with him last year. Made some spot starts here and there, I think. But there was a kind of a crowded rotation. But now that the rotation with no Rich Hill, no Hyunjin Ru. You know, so now that the rotation's kind of thinned out a little bit, I think the young guys like Walker Bueller, Julio Urias, and maybe even Dustin May will definitely get every opportunity to win rotation jobs. So his stuff is still there, though. From what, what, what I saw of him last year, stuff is there. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, Dodgers could move, lose some outfielders maybe in a trade. Jeff P says, do you know both of Wander's brothers are also named Wander? It's kind of like Victor Mesa Jr. and Victor Victor Mesa. Do I think Jens, Kenley Jantz is going to hold up? No. He's just, he's just getting older, just like Clayton Kershaw. So I think that's why they picked up Blake Trinan to see if uh, they can kind of, as a sort of a reclamation project, you know, and then maybe he could be kind of in the mix as well. Kind of preserve Kenley Jantz, not have to roll him out every day kind of thing. All right, next box. Good luck. We've got Will Wilson. Will Wilson for the Halos. That's going to go to Michael Rowe. Forrest Whitley, 250, and Nolan Gorman die cut. Keston Hira, and Brett Batty for the Mets. Richard Zitterman with the Metropolitans. Nice one. Oh, Courtney thinks that 
Maybe a gold was spotted down there. Let's see. Let's find out. And there's, we were just talking about him. There's Victor Mesa Jr. Marlins. That goes to John Hyanga, who picked up the Marlins. Last. Last spot mojo strikes again. Have I seen the fan video from behind home play during Kendrick's at bat in Chavez? No. Which at bat? Howie Kendrick has a lot of bat at bats at Chavez Ravine. There's Andrew Vaughn. Nice. I think top five, top ten pick, top five pick. And that is for Richard Zitterman and the White Sox. Nice break for you, Richard. The Grand Slam door shutter. I I don't remember that. What's what are you talking about, Sean? When did he do that? As far as I'm concerned, about last year, or the 2019 Dodgers season, the season ended in September, and the Dodgers won the NL West, and everyone celebrated. Baseball stopped after that. Nothing else happened after that. And then I black out, fall and winter, and then I wake up in spring training again. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Another four autographs in here. Another four autographs in the last box. And then we'll do the next break, which should be a couple personal boxes, Leaf autograph jerseys, and then we'll go through orders and we'll see uh, we'll see what's filled up after that. Sorry about that. I think Nick posted another three box break of uh, three box break of those autographed jerseys, but I don't think we have any more. There's Luis Gill, Yankees. That goes to Robert Myhill. Garrett Cole to 150. Bichette, Atomic Die Cut, and Carter Kaboom. 10 out of 150. Kaboom going to Chris Garosi and the Nats. There's Hyunjin Ruse on the. It's going to be weird to see him in Blue Jays uniform. 
There's Zach Thompson. Cardinals, that'll be for Josh Melton. Blaze Alexander die cut. And wow. Franchise favorites Atomic, our second one. There's usually only one. 21 out of 25, Joey Bart. That could be future Buster Posey right there for Lawrence. And the Gigantes. So what was the video, Sean? So some dude is mocking Howie Kendrick with the old hey, hey batter, batter, and then yells swing right when the pitch is released, and then followed by the oh no. I blame that person then. It's that person's fault. Oh, nice, Courtney. Well, with all those personals being picked up, folks, it might be too late for a Bowman draft, FYI. So, unfortunately, that just did not fill up fast enough. Looks like other things are filling. So we'll have to move that Bowman draft jumbo to, uh, to Thursday. Jason will be live on Thursday. And we're closed tomorrow, of course, for New Year's. Jake Bowers. Jake Bowers for the Indians. Jimmy Black with the Tribe. Yeah, tomorrow definitely will, should be a recovery day, Anthony Benin. That's for sure. Roy Jimenez, Guerrero Jr., Jimenez, Bell, DeGrom, and nice Josh Young. This has been quite a case. And that'll be for Richard Appleton and the Rangers. Nice. That's their big first round pickup this year. It's Christian Pash to 250. Tatis Jr. We've got Will Wilson, green, autograph to 99 for the Angels. That goes to Michael Rowe. Brett Batty to 150. Travis Swaggerty. Riley Green, Chris Bryan. And our last autograph is going to be Reese Hines. Red Legs, Jeff Peace. On the board at the very end. There you go, Jeff. There's Death Rage. And that is that. Freddie Freeman at the very end of Pick Your Team 12, 2019 Bowman's Best Baseball. Jeff Dorlack, Happy New Year to you, too. Thank you. We'll see you next time, everybody. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.